I'm Kerry Stinson, and my journey through life has been quite an adventure. For over 20 years, I played Barney the Dinosaur on tour and seven seasons of the hugely popular TV show, Barney and Friends. Now my journey is to bring together friends and guests from all over the entertainment world for inspiring and at times amusing behind the scenes conversation. I'm Kerry Stinson, and this is Purple Roads. Welcome to another episode of Purple Roads. I am so glad you're here. For all the Purple fans, this is a day you've been waiting for. Someone that you've been waiting to hear and have him on the show is here today. Um, right before we get to him, we want to thank our sponsor, Infusion HF70+. Plus. We are so thankful and proud to have him as a sponsor. Now, I don't want to talk about anything else. I want to get right to this. So we are so fortunate to have a very good friend of mine, someone that I worked with for a long time on the road, and someone, uh, you Barney fans, well, you've been mentioning his name. So we've got David Voss with us hey, today. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> so good. It is so good to see you, David. Well, it's been, it's kind of surreal for me right now because uh, Dunn Barney and I've told uh, Carrie this. I can barely remember what happened five days ago, let alone 20 plus years ago. So this is, he's going to have to help me out uh, remembering things. But uh, thanks for having me here. This is awesome. I am so excited. And the unfortunate wait. thing is that we're both the same age, yes. so I can't say, well, you know, it's because you're a lot older than me. Actually, we're the, we're the same age. Um, for people that don't know, David was the original, you were the first person in that costume um, back in 1988? 1988, yeah. So uh, you did the first three videos. The first six videos. Six videos, six, okay, so the first yeah. six videos. So I want to start, because I know this is a question the fans want to know. Okay. What was the audition well, for Barney? I uh, went to the Arts Magnet High School, okay. and I was uh, majored in theater. They had theater, dance, music, and uh, visual arts. So I studied theater there, and I was part of a mime troupe. Okay. And when the audi when the audition came, they were auditioning dancers, uh, mimes, and um, puppeteers. So obviously, I knew mime, <laughs> and so I auditioned as a mime. And I remember the audition because back then Barney wasn't Barney. In the audition, it was Danny the dinosaur. Really? Yeah. And so I went in and I did a mime, and it was called "A Day in the Life of Danny the Dinosaur." So I started <laughs> the music, and I kind of showed them what Danny would do: wake up in the morning, get his drink, go fishing, lots of fun stuff. I, I, so. I'm gonna stop him right now. You have got to watch this episode on YouTube. I know you can find us on iTunes and Google, and we want you to do that too. But David is going to be moving this whole Got time, it. and I've been told I'm going to be dancing too. So please yes. check this show oh, out yeah. Oh, yeah. on YouTube. So I'm sorry. Continue. Yeah. Continue. So um, at the audition, I remember going through the process, uh, getting a call back, and getting cast. Okay. And it was it just blew me away from beginning to end about what it was all about because I had no idea starting you know from something so so small right. and how huge it became right. and it was just amazing all this and and I'm going to tell you guys stories about how being on the set being on the tour being a special events it it's like family, yeah. You know, and I consider Carrie like one of my brothers because we we played together, we did shows together, we ate together, we slept together on one of the tour buses. So it's it's just one of those things that it will take you back, and it's golden. It's one of those golden memories of my life that I will always cherish. I, I am I I am so fortunate. I know you feel the same. I know the goosebumps. Um, that we haven't seen each other in yeah. probably, what, 10 years? Yeah. And it was like I saw you yesterday. Yeah. When we ran into each other in the hall, yeah. getting ready. Like, <laughs> hey, Dave. Hey, How's it going? How's it going? And we just go. Yeah. And I absolutely love that. Yeah. I love that. Special connection. It really is. Um, had you ever been in a costume? Because I'd never been in a costume before when I auditioned. Had you ever been in a costume? I had been in Louis the Lightning Bug. Okay. Or Dallas Power and Light. Cool. Um, I was also Hartley the Rabbit. For a company, I don't remember. Um, so yeah, I've done a, a few costume character work, but a lot of mime, not much dancing. And I have a story later for you about how <laughs> uh -oh. one of the um, characters I played was uh, tap dancing sign. Yes, and in, Carrie in, and in, I in a musical. 
yeah, Castle. musical castle. Yeah. And Carrie and I actually took a tap class yes. at ACC. Not ACC. That's Austin. Rich Richardson. Yeah, we did. In Richland. Richland it Community was, College. Yes, we yeah. did. Yes, we did. Good Luckily, times. there's no video of that. Thank goodness for me. Uh, one of us was a professional and one of us was No, not. you were awesome. You were awesome. So I think, if I can remember correctly, at times we would practice on the side just doing our shuffle ball changes we and would. stuff. So it was a lot of fun. Yeah. We would. Yeah. We would. Um, so you did the first three videos. First three videos. After that, um, they promoted them for a while. And then... Uh, those were the three with Sandy Duncan. Right. And those were, you know, back in the day when they called Barney the blue dog because yes. he looked more blue and yes. more like a dog. Right. And then after that, um, they decided to do, to do uh, Campfire Sing Along, Waiting for Santa, and uh, Barney Goes to School. And so you did those yeah, as well. those three. So then after that, uh, they, I think they were going to promote them for a while. And I got a calling to join the military. So that's when I enlisted in the Army. And I think it was 1990. I mean, what a side yeah. story. What, yeah. From a mime to See, going to the Army. <laughs> Not many people have that story. Yeah, well, and here's the funny thing. I remember when I was marching, I still kept the Barney spirit and the Barney love inside because when we were marching, the things going through my head aren't left, right, left. It's them ants go marching one by one. Hurrah, hurrah. <laughs> The ants go marching one by one. Hurrah. So I was, the military had never seen anything <laughs> like David Voss. Oh, they had no idea what was going on in my head. So it was, it was awesome. And I and remember. you brought something, right? Uh, from that? Did I not see something from? From. Oh, oh, yeah. Thanks. Yeah, I got you. I got you back. Yeah, this is where I was based for uh, boot camp, Fort Knox, Kentucky. And I was a Cav Scout, 19 Delta Cav Scout. So, yeah. It was, it was an awesome experience. I served my two years on my contract, and then I had honorable discharge, and I got out. And the whole time while I, while I was in, I still kept in contact with Miss Penny. We talk about Miss Penny a lot on this show. I know I need to bring tissue yeah. boxes. Uh, yeah. Um, she's such a special person yeah. to all of us, and how she touched all of our lives. And, yeah. And even before I met her, she was touching yeah. your life. Yeah. I mean, and, and I know she's looking down on us now and smiling. Yeah. You know. Saying keep dancing, right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> um, so she would keep she would write me while I was in boot camp and even when I was based in Germany because sure. I was stationed over there in Mannheim. And it was just so sweet because she would tell me what was going on and all the how Barney had exploded and had um, signed a contract with the PBS and all the cool, amazing things and I was like, Oh my gosh. <laughs> so cool. And when I got out, she asked me to be her assistant, the choreographer's assistant. And that that tur took an old, another turn in what I had done and what I was continuing to do. And it was just so different now being on the other side of the camera. And I have to say this, you guys, the times that I helped out the characters and the kids, it wasn't a lot because you guys were so good at what you did. You didn't need me helping you much because a lot of times when there were problems with the steps, the choreography, I would go and help them out. But I didn't do as much with that because you guys were so good. Now, so. I, we appreciate compliments very much, <laughs> but we it's also true. we also I appreciate it's that. True. true. Yeah, I'm going to tell you a couple more things here, though. First of all, you know, I've had a lot of people over the time, especially with Purple Tails and Purple Road, ask about. You know, what was that experience for you? Because you went off to the military and then yeah. all of a sudden the TV show. Yeah. I have never seen you bitter. I have never seen anything but positivity. And when we talk about it, and this is why Miss Penny kept talking to you. I know that's why she did. And I know why she made you her assistant for the same thing. Um, maybe you didn't have to correct a step. But, you know, this is one of the most positive, not the most positive person I've ever met in my life. And that positivity and that reminder when you're tired, yeah. when it's a long day, when the kids stepped on your toes and they have someone that's like, oh yeah, you can keep doing it. And you know, yeah. you're doing yeah. your dancing and stuff. How can you not stay positive? Yeah. And so she saw that light in you yeah. and that positivity that you kept for all these years. And how, when you came back, because I'd heard about you a lot and we met, you know, I think Radio yeah. City was the first we did in 1994. Oh, yeah. yep. um, yes, if you didn't know uh, Purple fans, this is the Winkster. <laughs> 
it's been a long time since I've heard that. Uh, I, uh, I'm going to need a minute. You should prepare me for that. But yes, you were the wingster. Yeah, that was an, yeah, and what an amazing time. And that's where we actually work side by side. And I remember Carrie popping in on the, the yes. balcony on with, one side. And with the my mop and was, bucket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was, so, that was awesome. That was an awesome experience. And I remember a story that I was doing cartwheels and flips, and I would get these bad shin splints and right. i remember you were telling me you were had the same thing because you know barney was really physical and jumping sure. up and down and spinning all right. all over the place and the funny thing we were in new york city and i didn't see as much of the city as i wanted to right. because i was always nursing my shins because the show had to go on the next day right. so i was always taking up some salt baths and but yeah, it was it was an awesome experience and it it was so cool barney on radio city and we had sold out crowds yeah yeah amazing super amazing i i know you know people that watch this show love to hear the behind the scenes so talk about this when you got the script for the wingster did did you have part of this did you help create it did they create i mean where was the wingster developed from how did that all come together well they asked me um, when I auditioned, yeah. I had to sing a song. I had to sing Happy Birthday. So they had to make sure that I could sing. Sure. And they, not then exactly had I developed the voice, but slowly later the voice came to be, and it, it really evolved when we were in rehearsals. Okay. And also the movements, because the Wingster was a mischief, mischievous character. Yes. You know, he would zip from here to here and here. And I wanted to make him likable and approachable. The makeup was a bit, yes, <laughs> was a bit um, uh, challenging for some kids. Yes. So that was something that you know I, I that part wasn't part of my right. but I was trying to soften the character. But he was mischievous. So and that's I think that was something that some of the kids were just a little bit like, why is he stealing Barney's Barney bag? Right. Which so. the Barney bag was a big deal at that time. <laughs> exactly. And, and these audiences, you know, what two to eight or something. Yeah, you know, exactly. they're young. Yeah. And it was they're like I mean, how would you describe what he looked like? It was kind of like a leprechaun. Okay, so yeah. there you go. That's a yeah. good way to say it. He was like an or an elf or a right. Yeah. So, but he was he was a fun character, and he learned through the the show. He learned, you know, to share, to say please and thank you, right. and, you know, what it was all about. So, sure. Yeah, it was fun. Did you understand how special it was to be on radio sit to be on that stage? It, not at the time, you know. I I mean I've done stage shows before, but I mean radio Radio City is. You would say what the creme de la creme yes. of being on any stage, probably in the world. Yes. So yeah, looking back, I'm just like, wow, I, I can't believe it. But yeah, it was so awesome. Yeah. Well, then our journey came back together again. Uh huh. Um, when we went on tour together. Yes. So we I, did five years together. We did Barney's Big Surprise yep. and Barney's Musical Castle. Now I remember our good friend Sloan Coleman calling me up. It was during the summer. I think it was like July. I can, like it was yesterday. And she said, do you want to go on tour? And I don't think I really understood that. Right. Like right. that we were going to be gone nine months out of yeah. the year and all those things. And what was involved in that. Right. Um, and when we went, so we had our rehearsal in Las Colinas. Mm -hmm. And we all had to introduce ourselves. Yeah. And I think, for the most part, you and I were the only two well, that knew each other. That actually knew each other and were part of the Barney crew. Right. Everyone else now, well, Barry. I knew, Barry Duane. I knew Dwayne. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Barry. Barry Pearl had. We knew of him because right. of. I'd never met him, but he had been in Imagination Island, and then right. of course he was in, in Greece, Greece yeah. Lightning. Um, what was it like to get that phone call to go on tour, and did you agree quickly? And well, I remember Miss Penny at asking me. That she she was auditioning dancers. And okay. She knew I was a dancer, so she wanted four dancers for the show, and she asked me, and I, I didn't hesitate, because I loved working behind the scenes on the set, but I'm a dancer, so I wanted to dance. Right. And she asked me if I would wanted to be one of the four dancers, and I said yes. You know, I didn't even hesitate. <laughs> I said yes, yes, yes. When do we start? When are we starting? When can we go? So that's how that came about, and actually, one of the dancers I knew personally, and I said, Dwayne, you have to audition for this because you're perfect. Now, uh, how did you know Dwayne? He, a Dwayne Hamburg. Yeah, Dwayne Hamburg. We had danced um, in a show. I don't remember the name of it, but and it was like a hoe down dance, and okay. he choreographed it. And he's just an amazing dancer. Yeah. So I didn't know the, I didn't know Camille and Tracy, but I knew Dwayne. Okay. And when we just when we started 
being on tour is one of the most fantastic things I've ever done in my life. It's a lot of work, but so much fun. And that's that's where we became brothers because yeah. on you know yeah. you, on set it's a little different because right. you go home but when you're right. actually living with someone sleeping with someone eating with someone going to hospital visits with with your friends yeah. it, you you're laughing you're crying it's it's amazing you know yeah, simply we, amazing we would go to cities yeah. that were so small that you couldn't go anywhere without right. running into someone it's true yeah. you couldn't go well, i'm gonna go to the restaurant quick because no one's gonna find me uh, yeah everyone's gonna find yep. you because yep. there's only six <laughs> restaurants oh, yeah, in this town yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey how are you hey, good to see you so, so yeah right. that experience of it yeah let's talk about the physical aspect of it you know the first year that we did it um we were the you know there was ones and twos right and and, yeah. and nine months in, I could barely walk. Yeah. Um, and had to deal with all kinds of. My mom watches this, so I don't want her to hear all the physical things <laughs> I went through. It was all okay. Yeah, but no. what did you feel like? Because you did how many different dance parts in Big Surprise? I was uh, the bunny and Baby Bop Hop. Right. And the, the one of the two bunnies came out. And I want to hop right now. Yep. By the way. There you yeah. go. We'll, we'll do some hopping. Later. Okay. <laughs> uh, I was a duck and. Four little ducks that I once knew, and yeah, I have to tell you, to this day, I have always wanted to get a duck tattoo because I was a duck. <laughs> and I always tell my friends, I'm like, hey, I need, I still am, need to get that duck tattoo, so that one of these days I'll have to show you my duck. <laughs> Don't have, we'll have it yet. You back on. So yeah, you there can you go. Show the, the duck tattoo. Uh, it was Clarence the Goose, uh, Mother Goose. Oh my yeah. gosh, you were Clarence, yes. And a clown. Oh, that's uh, right. And then, and I know when we did a lot of um, hospital visits, yeah. Carrie and I would do hospital visits together. Yes. One of the easiest characters to take with us was the clown. So I would dress up as a clown and... Because um, it was like a the cheeks were patch on yeah, or something like that. Yeah, Not stick much makeup. on cheeks, yeah, yeah, just a costume. Right. So we would come and do the dances with you guys and, and help out. And that was the first time I got introduced to hospital visits. And... I'm telling you, anyone that has anything negative to say about Barney, after seeing that, they will never have ne anything negative ever again because when you see kids yeah. that are in beds that can't get up and, you know, Barney comes yeah. in and, and they their faces light up and it's just, it's heartwarming and it's one of those experiences that stays with you for your entire life. So, yeah, you know, we, uh, on the... Uh, on our other show, we had um, Jake Berry on, uh -huh. and Jake Berry talked about that. Yeah. You know, when we first did the hospital visit, it was just Barney. Wow. Barney would just go to the hospital. Yeah. You all want to be part of yeah. it. Yeah. We're like, oh, we want to go to the hospital. <laughs> you know, and so all of you, yeah. well, I know a lot of you went and went to those and saw that. Yeah. Because I always tell people, I mean, it's, you know, I was 23 when we started yeah. and trying to get a job. Yeah. And next thing you know, this is a responsibility, and next thing you know... You're getting a gift. Yeah. You know, what those kids give you and show you is just amazing. Yeah. Do you remember a specific one, an interaction with a child that really touched you? Yeah. And I don't, I, like I said, I don't remember which, um, if it was you or another um, Barney, yes. but I, I think it might have been you. Okay. Uh, this child was in an immune deficiency kind of bubble okay. wrap thing sure. where he couldn't. He couldn't touch Barney, and because of germs, because he had a, a sure. compromised immune system. Yes. And he just came there, and Barney put his hands up to the the um, the plastic, and he put his hands up, and it was just one of those moments where that you guys stayed there for at least five minutes, and it was just one of those things where we were told later that that's all that kid got to take a picture next to Barney because Barney was like this and the kid was right here with the plastic and he slept with his Polaroid. So it's one of those those things that and, and you know, not only the kid, but also for the parents. Yeah. Because they're they're seeing this amazing purple dinosaur bringing love and laughter and smiles and tears to this to this little one that you know is in pain all the time right so it's yeah that one sticks with me probably more than any other one so. yeah it's such a it's such a gift that we were given to be it's able humbling to do too, that yeah. it's very humbling it's very humbling you know people ask me all the time well how did you stay in that costume so long mm. 
it's very easy. Yeah. When you're going through that, yeah. when you're experience, you're not feeling anything right. other than this this love, and this yeah. beautiful experience that's happening. And and I know you guys were taking you know from one wing to the hospital to another wing, and sometimes you guys would travel through three three wings of a hospital just for one kid, right? Just because that that little one wanted to see Barney and and be hugged and s sung to, and you know that's his hero. Yeah, it's what I loved about the company that they yeah. always put the effort yep. out to do that. Yep. Every city we went into, we mm -hmm. went to a hospital. Yeah, it was amazing. All right, on the tour. Yes. Let's just talk about Big Surprise for a second because, you know, that was an unbelievable. Yeah. Um, your favorite moment, if you have one. I would say the ducks. Okay, here's a funny story. All right. Uh, <laughs> I knew they were coming. I knew they were coming. Well, I didn't know it would be about the ducks, but I knew one. It's funny. I had just – I've been a performer. I could move. I was a mover, but I wasn't at that point um, a dancer per se – with choreography with you know five six seven eight sure so i remember learning the duck dance and it was the first time i had ever i had done hip-hop but i'd right. never done soft shoe and when yeah. i did hip-hop i learned it by watching not by counts but miss penny you know she's a choreographer and yep. she's doing you know kickball change and step and all, all that right. stuff so anyway i could never hear the one when we were coming out right before we started to go out and as the ducks and Tracy behind me, I would yeah. say, Tracy, you have to count me in. You have to count me in because I can't, I can't see anything because I'm in this big duck suit. Right. So she would, she would go, okay, here we go, here we go, five, six, seven, eight, and then I st would step on one. Yeah. And then from then on out, I was good. I was golden, but I could never hear the one. And then, I mean, now I can because sure. you know, I've taken yeah, yeah, classes yeah, and continued. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But at that point in my dance career, I couldn't count music. <laughs> so. She, we had this line of ducks, and right before we the music would start, she would count me in, and she it just was it was so special to me that you know she took the time because she was an awesome dancer, right? Cause she was a tapper, right? And and she just helped me, and then from then on out, four little <laughs> ducks, and I still know that choreo choreography too. So, well, maybe later, maybe maybe <laughs> later. My legs are already starting to hurt thinking about all this. I knew it was coming. I just didn't know how much. Oh, and here's another fo funny uh, story about that. Also, I will never remember being so sore on my sides yeah. because ducks waddle. Right. So, all four of us dancers were so sore that first week of rehearsal because right. we were waddling, you know, that's yeah. to our places. Right. So that's probably my favorite I moment. Love it. <laughs> favorite city? Uh, or an oh, experience so other many. than... than oh. Than the, than the duck, something right. like going somewhere, meeting someone, or seeing something. Or I would say probably, probably L.A. Because okay. you know there's a lot of celebrities in the audience, yeah. and I'm going to tell you, and you know this, one yeah. of the biggest celebrities is John Travolta. Oh yeah, he loves Barney. Yeah. You know his kids love Barney, and they're they were one of our biggest biggest fans yeah. and he sat in the audience just like everyone else enjoyed his kids and you know it, it wasn't about him right. it was about barney right but that was just an amazing an amazing experience because we were all excited he was in the show right. you know i mean in the audience yeah, so, yeah. yeah well i love that part i've talked about that other celebrities that have gone yeah what i learned very quickly is their parents yeah Exactly. Right. We see them as celebrities right. but their parents when yeah. they're with barney and they light up seeing their kid yeah you know, get that joy and that interaction. Yep. So I thought that was that was amazing. And wasn't he also when you guys were on Regis and Kathy Lee? Possibly. I believe Barney was there also, and I think it was it was one of the few times. Okay, out of all the tours, I think I did ten years of touring. I, you did four shows. Four tours. Yeah, I did two. You did four. And I never got sick or missed any mm. shows except. Uh -huh. I got I got food poisoning in one of the cities, and I believe you guys came out, and you're like, Dave, you don't look so good." I was like, "I'm getting over food poisoning," but we were the show had to go on, and we were doing a show in New York. Um, before we went to New York, we were doing the special appearance, so that was a lot of fun. Sure. And I was recovering, so yeah, not the getting sick part, <laughs> but yeah. Oh, well, I know I had several of those yeah. about soon. When you have yeah. to go on every night, every night yeah. the show must go on, and you know whether you're feeling good or not you're you're there to make the kids smile absolutely know? so it was amazing. absolutely good. so of all the characters that you played on all of the tours because well, i know there was a starfish and there was a dancing sign right said you were gonna ask me this yeah i 
I can't, as I was looking through the photos, I was like, oh my gosh, this was my favorite moment. Oh my gosh, I love doing that one. Oh my gosh, now I remember this one. Oh my god. <laughs> so it kept changing. I would probably say two of my favorites was one of them was a the starfish. Okay. Elvis was uh, the starfish was based loosely off of Elvis, and he had a little curl, and I had my blue suede shoes, and it, it was it was so much fun to play. It was just really fun. Um, that one but was that hard to play. No, that one was, Elvis is a star. And maybe maybe <laughs> that's why because the costume was made of totally a foam. It, yeah. it moved with me. It was you know it undulated. Yeah. And I could see really well. And you know sometimes and the costumes were made so well and fantastically by all of the creators. Yes. But there's a few that are a little more hard to see out of. Sure. And this one was awesome. I had so much vision. I could do, you know, I could do anything in that costume. It was right. awesome. So it was, it was real easy to move in. Um, I would, I would say another one would probably be when I was the Muffin Man on the Let's Go tour. Okay. <laughs> and if I had a picture, I would show you right now. Yeah. But I was this big muffin. I was we'll, in. We'll find one. Big muffin. There'll be a picture. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry, I, Purple Roads fans. We'll have a picture. And the only thing you see are my uh, chicken legs, because I'm bow-legged and I'm skinny, so my legs are... <laughs> you just see these two little legs in this big, this big muffin costume. And right before I would come out, the muffin would stick his head out, and he would disappear in the curtain. Right. Then he would stick his head out, and then as I came out, you would see all the kids pointing and the, them going gasping and ooing, aahing, and it was it was just fun because I could see the kids through the blueberries. That's where I, I saw through the little screens. Right. So th that was an awesome one, and the polar bear that was that was a hip hop dancing polar bear where I did on Colorful World. Yeah, that was made. Oh, here's another good one. Here's a funny story. All right. When I was the elephant, the back part of the elephant on Colorful World, because yeah. we went around the world, so we went yeah, to yeah, all yeah, the different yeah, yeah. locations. That was an awesome costume because it actually took two people. Okay. So I was in the costume with another dancer, and it was um, Kira or Sean. I forget which one, but a lot of times before we we do a show, we would go to <laughs> we would go to <laughs> we would go to catering, and I would eat very healthy and I would get the toots. <laughs> can I say that? Yes, you can say you can say that. You said that and as nicely as you can, as, as David Voss would say it as nicely as possible. You had a little gas happening. Is that what you're talking exactly. about? Exactly. Okay. Well, yeah, so and I would try, you know, you try to you try to hold it in, but as you're moving, you know, yes. just anyway, nature happens. Yes. And um So you're they, always the back part of the they would be so mad, and I remember one time they were doing get backs, and they had it was get back. Explain get back. Get backs mean they would uh, get back Not at revenge, me. but a, exactly. a little, yeah. You know, I guess. So they had this little uh, jar that was, you know, it wasn't. It was like fake farts. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so anyway. Yep. That's a story. <laughs> yes. No, there was a lot of that stuff that went on in the yeah, roads. I can remember yeah. uh, Kyle Nelson and Dwayne having a back and forth on yep. some of those jokes. And that's what happens when you're on the yeah. road yeah. and living together like that. That You know, yeah. I mean, that's all we saw. Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. Well, and then I got you got all these pictures here. There's oh. this character that people <laughs> people have probably seen, Bob yes. the Builder. I believe that was between, there were two tours. And okay. We, uh, Barney had a hiatus between, I believe it was Colorful World and Let's Go Tour. Okay. Because I believe that's when um, Sloan went on to do Bob the Builder. Yes. And um, since Barney was taking a hiatus, they asked me if I wanted to be the um, assistant choreographer slash director i don't know my exact title but right. it was something i was miss sure. penny's assistant again again yeah which i loved and of course you don't have to twist my you arm you've just been doing it for so long they kept giving your title bigger <laughs> yeah, and bigger yeah, and bigger yeah. <laughs> so i was like okay yes i would love to do it yeah so i did the tour um i was and it was an awesome tour totally different than barney because we had to be in arenas we, right. they all a lot of ice arenas because the the machines were huge. So you Dis had real machines. They were huge. I mean, they're bigger than this room. Yeah. Um, I forget which one it was, Lofty or Scoop. Because um, people, rolled, dro they drove, they drove these. these were they were, real. Yeah, they were huge. Anyway, 
I remember one of the performers getting sick, so a lot of the times I wasn't assistant directing or watching the show. I was actually doing one of the characters. I was doing, or yeah, something, yeah. I was understudy almost for the whole tour. Right. Because one of the girls, poor her poor bless her soul, she got a uh, strep throat. Yeah. So I was doing Dizzy, the cement mixer. Sure. Almost our the whole Australian tour okay. when we were in Australia. But when you know someone else got sick and I did one of the um the big guys and then one of someone um I believe Tiz he played uh Wendy. Okay. He tore his Achilles. So stuff happens on the road, oh, and you yeah. have to jump in. And so I jumped in, and I was Wendy for a lot of the tour. Right. So it was, it was it was amazing. So I got to dance. Yeah, I loved it. And then, okay, then the funny thing happened was Bob the Builder was going to tour at the same time as Barney, the Let's Go Tour. And they asked me which one I wanted yeah. to do. Well, that was a um, no-brainer. Barney. Right. I didn't even have to think twice. I said Barney. As I love Barney. You know, Barney is, is my first love. So even though... Well, we, we all see the purple today you've got on. We really <laughs> appreciate that. I, and I was, I'm jealous of this. I'm jealous of they this. They were asking. And I had, I had three shirts. I didn't know which one to wear. So I just decided to, to wear all three. So I'm like, <laughs> I love it. I love it. So you went on to the Let's Go. Yeah, the Let's Go tour. And um, amazing again. It, that's when I did the Muffin Man. And it was a robot. Um, and I also was a, a PR manager. Okay. So I went with Barney to yeah. the local TV stations and uh, was the spokesperson for Barney because you know Barney was saving his voice for the show. He right. could, you know he could sing. Yeah, most people don't know yeah. that when we took Barney to the hospitals, uh, there was no voice there, right. which I thought was the most incredible thing. Yeah. In hospitals, no one ever asked. Yeah. He was so larger yeah. than life, and with the movements, yeah, they never. Yeah. Why, why is he not speaking? But right. you would on TV have to. Yeah, because you know why they, would, they would. If there was no voice there, right? They would have to talk about you know details of the show and what the show was about. Sure. And all that jazz, um, but you know sometimes the newscasters would you know would ask, oh, you know, sure. oh Barney's saving his voice for the show, sure. and you know he's you know, all the all that good stuff. Oh yeah. So, yeah. So, I had an experience one time. I had to do one of those shows in Mexico. Yes. I don't speak Spanish. Right. <laughs> so they gave me five words. Oh, no. If you hear amore, this, 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 right. it means this. Right. Otherwise, you know, just keep jumping and dancing. Right. And somehow I made it through the show. <laughs> I still don't know how I did it um, down in Mexico City, but I did it. Yeah. What was the most difficult um, experience Mexico you had? City. Or anywhere. No, I remember when we met. When, when we met. Yeah, because we, we learned yeah. a show. We did. Um, it was... It was the first tour. Right. And I believe, I mean, it was the second tour. One of the tours, <laughs> Sam forgetting tours. Yeah. One of the tours, they asked me to be the spokesperson while all these reporters were asking me questions. And I'm just kind of the same way. I mean, I, I would speak my broken Spanish yeah. and I would get the point across. And, yeah, hola. Yeah, exactly. Hola. <laughs> and, and whenever they wanted Barney or the kids to smile, they would say whiskey and then and take a picture. And, but I remember the, the songs because I had to prep the kids that were – because the kids were um, English speakers and they didn't speak Spanish. Yes. So I remember prepping them. And we learned the songs, and I even remember Barney now in Spanish. Te quiero yo, y tú a mí. Yeah, so I can – that stuff still but stays that's not with exactly me. how it was. Yeah. Because what was it was faster. Do you remember that? <laughs> I when we when we learned that. Okay, now I yeah, when we learned it, it was so much faster. Yeah. And for especially <laughs> for the big purple one who had to move his yeah, mouth to match up with that. Super fast. Yeah, there was some yeah. a lot of ice yeah, bath afterwards that's true. because it was that it was that quick. Yeah, the Spanish is a lot faster in the English translation than when we did in the Spanish translation. Yes. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I remember you guys telling me about it. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I remember listening to the tape the first time we were on a bus. Right. And they you know, put the tape in so we could right. hear what we were up for, and I was like, hey, who? Who? am I going to Mexico? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to do that. Oh. But what an, an amazing experience yeah. it was. It was. Because yeah, we had sold out shows every, yeah. every time there. It, and the arena was huge. Yeah. It was, it was huge. And I remember even learning when I was the tap dancing sign, yeah. I had to learn I had to learn what I was saying in English and then translate it into Spanish so I knew when to – because the sign would stop 
two right. for yes or one for no or vice yeah. versa. Uh, but I had to know when to stomp and tap because my taps were live. My right. taps weren't uh, pre pre recorded or anything. Right. So I had to know when to do what. So yeah, it was fun. Oh. <laughs> Well, you brought back memories. You talk about that sign. I was like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> that thing was something. Oh, it was huge. It was a huge yeah. sign that he was tap dancing in yeah. and out. And, and you, couldn't, you couldn't see my arms. You could only see my head. You saw the sign, and you saw my tap dancing feet. What was the challenge dealing with, with the three dinos um, and the fact that we couldn't see you? Did you ever get bumped in? Did we ever knock you no, over? You, Did any of us ever? You guys were amazing. You know, I, I think I bumped into the kids more than I sure. bumped into you guys. So as so not at all. Right. I do remember, though, falling one time in the sign. Oh, man, and this is when we were filming the video in Chicago, and I was so <laughs> excited, had all this adrenaline going that when I jumped, my the back of my uh, tap shoes caught the sign, and I fell straight down on on the floor my nose was bleeding <laughs> the whole audience goes oh and i just kind of wiggle my head into the costume pick myself up wiggle my head smile as i'm bleeding with the blood dripping down and i tap dance off the stage <laughs> it's the challenge of life of being like, alive on I'm like, are you okay are you okay? I'm, like, I'm, I'm fine i'm fine <laughs> yeah well crazy so I left the tour and went to do the TV show. And then who shows up several times but you once again. <laughs> and I remember the one, it was the, um, it was a, an Litterbot. environment. Yeah, that, oh, was it Litterbot? That's Litterbot. what it was. Yeah. Yeah. That's... I've still got pictures of that. I, <laughs> I remember that being a lot of work. Yeah. And that was one of those also that was just so much fun because I remember, um, I believe it was Lisa Albertson. She was one of the costume designers, or at least uh, that helped out design yes. and stuff. She, they wanted to build a, a robot from ground up, and I was told that it was going to be super, super expensive. So she, she suggested, well, why don't we just get David Voss, put him into a costume that looks like a robot, and have him move like a robot? So that's kind of what they did, yeah. and it was it was awesome. It was an amazing experience again, and I believe. Uh, Jim was our director for I think that. So Jim yeah, Rowley, he was awesome. Yeah, yeah, loved Jim so Rally. much fun. <laughs> yeah. Now awesome. the challenges of that, yeah. right? Because now it's take after take. You've yeah. got kids and sets and lights and mm -hmm. cameras and the difference. Because you've been doing the road and, and all of a sudden yeah. now you're back to TV. And being on TV, the challenge is you have to remember where you stopped, where you started, so things match, so continuity is the same, and and on the stage you know something happens something happens and you right. just got to go for it and keep it going so yeah it's totally two different aspects of uh acting and dancing and performing for yeah. sure yeah i remember that being involved yeah that robot <laughs> right weren't they having a you were kind of in something and yeah they, they, it was a uh, um it was like the art department was involved yeah, in that right yeah. tim thomas and all yeah. those they, they, Those wonderful guys. Yeah, they had, like, I think there were, like, things that had smoke coming yeah. out, and it zoomed back and forth, but everything was, like, on swivels, Yeah. so I could push it forward, move it around like so, and then the, the arms were, like, wink, 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 and right. I had little grabbers. It was really cool. It was an awesome, awesome design. So. So much fun. In your Barney career, how many different costumes? Do you think how many different costumes you know from the wingster to how many did you do? Well, I was also a clown. Right. I was tap dancing, not tap dancing. I was a teddy bear that came to life. A mime one time, on Barney goes around the world. Okay. Probably twenty plus, if not more. I don't think people realize that we got all these Barney fans and and the purple fans that love. They had no idea. So much. they're learning right now how yeah. many costumes you actually yeah. did. Is it, yeah. Yeah, a monkey, a dog, uh, the dog, Bingo, the dog, a skunk. Um, yeah, lots, lots of. Lots I don't think I even realized. You sent me <laughs> pictures, which we're going to show them. Um, how many characters you did? Yeah. One of the favorite, my favorite things about this show, in Purple Rose, is that we have surprises. Oh my God! All right. <laughs> So we're actually going to take, we haven't done this before, but we're going to take a little break. Okay. And we're going to bring someone else on here. Sure. Can't wait. Who is going to come play with us. Yeah. And is also going to dance with us. Awesome. 
if I got to do it, yep. then we're yep. going to bring everyone <laughs> on. So one second, we got someone that's going to join us, a good friend of both of ours. Yeah. Welcome back to Purple Roads. This has been such a special show, having my good friend David Voss on. A lot of you know him in the purple world. What I love about Purple Roads is that you never know when there's going to be a surprise. Someone else is going to come. We actually surprised David today with our next guest. So we've got another one of the Barney um, tour guys and just such a wonderful guy. We're so happy to have Rick Starkweather on today. He was on Thank two you. tours with David Voss, and I knew Rick well, too. So... Welcome, Rick. Thank you, Carrie. Thanks. You know, it's exciting to have you here, and, and he was reluctant to come on because he found out that David was going to make us dance, but he's come in anyways, <laughs> and he's going to dance with us as well. Um, so, Rick, which tour did you start on? I started uh, with Barney's Colorful World. Okay. And then you did the next one as well. L I did. Let's Go Tours. Yeah, Two I tours. Did. Yes. Two tours, and you became fond of this gentleman as well as I am Absolutely. today. And I know you're jealous. He, he dressed up on the purple on us. He, <laughs> yeah, I know. He, he <laughs> caught both of us off guard today. I didn't get that email. I know. I know. So what was your audition like? Actually, I stumbled into it unexpectedly. I was doing... I come from musical theater. Okay. And um, one of my friend's castmate in the show had just got a talent agent and he said, hey, why don't you come with me tomorrow to this audition for Barney. Okay. And I was like, well, what's it about? He goes, well, they're looking for dancing penguins and polar bears. Okay. <laughs> and so I crashed this audition with him, and fortunately, he didn't make it, but he moved on yeah. and had great things. Um, so I'm there, and there were just hundreds of people there, sure. and they kept me, and more people were getting cut, and next thing I knew it, they put me in the suit and i was like what's going on <laughs> right well this is barney yeah and they said well, yeah we just want to see how you move in the in the suit right and that's where it all changed that's where it all happened thing, next thing you know you're out on the road i'm on the road and you're with this one i am <laughs> and i heard a lot about this guy before uh -huh. because we had flown out of dallas to nashville okay where we would launch the show and rehearse it, I think, within a week, and we put the show up. Wow. But everybody was talking about this David Voss. Oh, you got to meet Voss. You know, he's he's the original Barney. Right. And so I was excited but really nervous yeah. to, to meet him. And as soon as I saw him and met him, it was, I guess, brotherhood. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I can say something. You guys have the Barney heart. So you... Part of the audition is just to see your character right. and, and the love that you have for dancing and kids and everything. And that's what you guys embody. So that that speaks volumes, you know. So that's that's really special. Yeah. Yeah. Had you been in a costume before? I had never been in a costume before like that, no. You just had the movement. Mm -hmm. I had the movement. And I, not even a dancer like this guy, right. David. But uh, they just, again, wanted to just see how I moved in it. So he taught you the five, six, seven, eight, and he's <laughs> <laughs> already on the one. <laughs> now he taught me tap dancing. Did he ever teach you any dancing? I, he did. I didn't do too well. Tap was not my friend. <laughs> yeah, tap's fun, but it, it's a little. You, you got to take classes. So. Yeah, and, and you're, but would, you're a natural, right? Yeah, thank you. He's a natural. And this David would always have uh, dance classes yeah. on yeah. the road. You oh, know, yeah. when we had our downtime you know he'd always encourage everyone yeah. to learn some dance moves so. so what was it like for you you know this was one of the reasons i wanted to do this show is to get other people's experiences and, and how you felt through this what was it like for you to go to your first hospital and see kids and, and that experience were you prepared for it did you know what was going to happen i was not prepared for it um did they actually know that was part of the job right which turned out to be one of the best blessings about the job but the first one we went to, whew, it broke your heart. Yeah. It really did. To see these children and these families going through the struggles that they're going through. And to walk in these hospital rooms and just give them a few moments of pure happiness and joy so they right. can forget about what they're going through at that moment. And that just, that's the best thing about this whole whole adventure for me. I, I, I've always told people, what blew me away the most about those 
is that I never saw sadness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because Barney brought ha- happiness. Yeah. Is there a specific, right. too? He talked about one. Did you have a specific kid that you remember, a specific moment, a specific ho- hospital? I, I do. Uh, we had a young man named Eddie. I believe he was in the New Jersey area. Huge Barney fan. Yeah. And <laughs> I think he went to, correct me if I'm wrong, Voss, but I think they would travel like to other states. Yep. Anytime Barney was near their vicinity, they would pack up the car and they'd go and he'd send pictures of his bedroom, of all the Barney uh, dolls and posters. And, and got, I was lucky to meet him. Yeah. So. We knew that he was coming because his family had told us that he was coming. So we're like, oh, he's got to get a meet and greet. Yeah. So we arranged it and we did a meet and greet for him. And that was awesome. Yeah. Man, good stuff. So what do you remember of Rick? <sighs> Rick... Kind of like what I said before, when you're on tour with someone, they become like your brother. Yeah. So even though you know we were working together, it was it was fun times. It was work, but it was fun work. Right. And right. It was memories from when even like stuff we did even after the show was we went out and we did Halloweens together yeah. and we did huh? all all sorts of fun stuff and it's it's. And that's why we're friends today, and we never stopped. And kind of like when I saw you, like time hadn't passed, the same thing. Exactly. I was like, oh my gosh, I know that guy. I know that guy. <laughs> so, it was, yeah, it was, it's it's awesome. Yeah, because we have a clip we're going to show later, but they had <laughs> they didn't know they were going to see each other. Yeah, we no. didn't tell David that Rick was going to be here. <laughs> it was awesome. It was such a special, special surprise, and it, it, icing on the cake. So. Yeah. <sighs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Did you have a city that you, like a favorite for you or, or remember? Because when he was talking about being on, and I started looking at old pictures, and I remember times of us all going hiking together oh. and in New Mexico, if you remember right. that. Yeah. And there was just times like that. We would go out as a group, mm-hmm. and they just they remember like yesterday, and they mean mm-hmm. so much to me. Do you have memories like that? I'd probably say Washington. Because I had never experienced any of the Smithsonian's and the history, um, that was that was that's a one city that sticks out. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, it's yeah. it's fascinating. I remember Washington. See, and I remember you said Washington. I'm like, oh yeah, we went to Washington. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, we were to- there during was it the when 2000 it was new year's yeah, new year's yeah, yeah and uh you two mm-hmm. and them play yeah it was cool and we at the cap it was like it was bringing in. So- and we were, yeah, it was really cold. Yeah, it was crazy cold. And we were probably nine miles away from Bono. Yeah. But we could hear him. Yeah. And I'm like, I think, I think it's, <laughs> it's Bono. But I remember that experience. Uh, good times, yeah. Yeah. So I want to talk about here real real quick before we dance. I know everyone wants to see us dance. And I'm uh, my, my legs are, there's some nervous legs here. Um, <laughs> I want to talk about what you guys are doing now. You know, you stayed in the military. To a point, yeah. right? What are you doing yeah. now? Um, I'm actually working at the Austin VA okay. outpatient clinic where I'm in charge of um, that, that customer service. I work with the veteran experience section where I'm the red coat ambassador and I help out with the uh, whole health and we do food demos. We do stuff and we're, we're called the Mary Makers and we have a lot of fun uh, helping the employees because if you have help, healthy, uh, happy employees, right. it trickles down That's for right. Yeah. You know, the patients that are there just to bring them a little bit of happiness. Um, so um, I'm actually teaching a dance class. Okay. So I'm kind of m- merging uh, my military experience with my dance experience mm-hmm. where I teach the veterans a, a dance class every Friday. And a couple of them have told me that that dance class, my dance class and the move class, they were able to get rid of their walkers and wow. now they can walk on their own. They, one of them stopped using his oxygen because of just getting up and moving. Wow. And, you know, that's what, what Barney would teach, too. You know, yeah. get up and that's dance. Right. Get up and right. move and groove and boogie right. and woogie. So it's, it's, it's amazing. Wow. And then I'm also um, with a, a dance group called Still Dancing, where to be in the group, you got to be over 40. So You're over 40? All right. Oh, uh, uh, no. Rick and I <laughs> can't be over 40 because uh, uh. I think we're the same age, and so that means we're over 40 or maybe even a little bit older than that. You're, you're, you're getting hot, though? Yeah, yeah, I know. Sweating. Uh, we're going to need Sarah Curley to come in hilarious. and bring us some more makeup. But So, yeah, so it's, it's been good. So I'm, I'm still keeping active and dancing, and, and it, it's really awesome. So. Oh, I'm also a kid's substitute yoga teacher at Wild Heart Yoga. Of course I you are. I love it. Yeah. You're a busy guy. Uh, 
<laughs> so yeah, those are probably the three major things that I'm doing right now. Okay. Now, do you still do theater? Or, or I rarely do. That? Yeah, no. Um, I, I'm actually kind of the same similar okay. career as David. I'm in senior health care. Wow. Senior living. So I work with Civitas uh, Senior Living. Okay. And um, I'm in the dietary department. Okay. So, um, and I love it. That's awesome. I love it. I, do you still dance or do you do any of the creative no, aspects of it? No. I don't. I, do I, you I, miss it? I do miss it. I do. Um, time is the pr issue, yeah, really, for sure me. Yeah, sure it is. Uh, but I do miss it. I love the arts. I love to get out and see a show when I can. And I hope there will be an opportunity later down the road that something will come my way. But but I'm not necessarily really looking right now. Either, sure. So. Well, I always tell people a message becomes strong on this show is to keep your eyes, your ears, and your heart open. Yes. Uh, and you'll find your purple road. Mm-hmm. I never expected to be podcasting. Uh, I didn't expect it. to be doing that. I didn't expect to be having mm -hmm. you guys here. And it's turned out to be the greatest thing in the world to see you guys' faces. Mm -hmm. I ran into Rick not too long ago, and it was just like I'd seen you. Just picked right up? Yeah. I can remember us talking before you went on the road, and I remember all of that. And I just think it's so cool. Mm -hmm. And then and then this one here. You know, I love I love hearing you call in boss. Because... I don't know him as David. I know him as Boss. boss. Well, we all know him as Boss. Yeah, because we had three Davids on the first tour, so everyone called him. Yeah, but you just became Boss. That's true. And I love so, it. It was cool. <laughs> yeah, I love that. And I love seeing your interaction. Yeah. I love all this. And yeah. and hearing it, it's, it's just amazing. Yeah. Do you keep in touch with anyone from your tour days? I do, through Facebook. Yeah, and social media. Social media. We didn't have like social that. media. I know, yeah. I know. Yeah. We barely had a phone when we yeah, were on tour. I think when Facebook started... Was it the Let's Go Tour? I believe it was. I think it does because it was MySpace. Mm -hmm. It was MySpace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how we connect yep. friends back home sure. on the road. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I, I think you're right. Facebook yeah. came on. Justin's the one that introduced us to Justin, yeah, yes. Facebook. He was one of the dancers on the oh, Okay. Yeah. In the uh, Let's Go Tour. Yeah. I, it, it's an unbelievable thing. When we were on tour, like when you went on tour, you were gone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like you called your family once a week or something, mm -hmm. like my, my really good friends, or they came out to visit, but you were kind of gone. Yeah. You were. You know, now you FaceTime now everyone, you do all, you know, all the things that we do. So we should go on tour. We <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> I think we should go on we tour should. again. Well, that's such a good point here. We should probably see if we can still dance. <laughs> oh, oh, no. I know. Just blame David. I'm blaming like David for this whole thing. That, that's okay. We've got powerful mics and we can mute them. We've well, got a producer that can mute all this stuff. And one of the dances that I always thought was like the Bar Barney Macarena, or, all right, you know, uh, that everyone knows yeah. was Mr. Knickerbocker. Yeah. Right. So I think that's what we should do. All Mr. Right, Knickerbocker. Let's do it. So, Derek, we're going to stand up. Our producer, Derek Kaufman, we're going to stand up. I'm going to wipe the tears away. <laughs> So we're just going to do just one uh, quick uh, chorus part from it. And um, if you guys know it, you join in with us. Yes. Okay. So here we go. All right. So it's, hey, hey Mr. Knickerbocker, boppity bop. I like it the way that you boppity bop. I like it the way that you boppity bop with your hands. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you got to do the Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't awesome. do that yeah, as well as you guys do. There's a lot of hip action, though. It's like riding a bike. It is like yeah. riding a bike. Well, I know everyone wants to see. Now we got to see the duck. Okay. We've got to see. see we got to see. We're going to sit here and watch him. Okay. Do here the it goes. duck. This do is do the... we need to count you in, Rick? Do we oh, you count might you have to. to. Five, six, yeah. five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three and four. Five and six and seven and eight and one, two and three, four and five and six and seven and eight. Have a turn this way, have a turn that way, and on and on and on. <laughs> My face is hurting from smiling so hard. <laughs> That's where we were all sore from all the waddling. All the waddling. All the waddling. And then I know you were going to get him. I'm sorry, Rick. I'm going to put you up here. Uh, <laughs> you were going to do a little bit. Uh, well, and see, Kerry knows this one, too, because he uh, was I on one of the parades. No, <laughs> he was uh, in... I, I don't think I, don't think I remember Day this. Parade. But you can watch. Okay, so it's Thank from you. the Polar Bears. I promise not it's, to laugh. <laughs> it's Cold Burr. Okay. And you did it with us on tour. I did. So it's... A long time ago. It's Cold, cold. 
fur. I wish I had fur. I wish I was a bear with furry, furry hair. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> Sweet. Good job. Sweet. Yes. Nice. Some things you can't forget. That's true. That's true. Is there another one? There yes, has mine would more. be stuff like. Okay, show us. We can either do well. Show I us. Remember, <laughs> but but airplane. Oh. Uh, you remember that? Oh, oh we are flying I know you in an know. airplane, looking, looking out the window, window watching, watching the clouds go by. Flying in an airplane, looking out the window, up so very high. Looking out the window. No, and that's see, the, yeah. Looking out the window, we can see lots of things. <laughs> Down below, we see everything. Little tiny people and cars so small. Makes me feel like I'm ten, ten feet tall. Oh, I'm flying in the airplane, airplane looking, looking out, out the window, window watching, watching the clouds go by. Flying in the new plane. I'm way off. <laughs> I'm so very, very high. high. Oh, haven't done that for how many I years? know. I know. Wow. <laughs> what else? Well, we have to. So we're going to end this. Okay. But we got to end it the proper way, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so we got to do I Love You. Yes. This is the one people want us to see, yeah. right? I'm going to let you lead it. Oh, my goodness yeah. gracious. We always awesome. have to hold hands. We do have to <laughs> hold hands. <laughs> this penny would be like, hold those hands. Oh. Yes. Yes, really? yes, so this is for you, Miss Penny. Yes. I love you. You love me. We're a happy family with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me too? Oh. Oh. This has been fun. This has been such a blast. I love you guys so much. I appreciate you coming to be on this show. Thank it you. It just means the yes. absolute world. There's a, there's, It's pretty special to see you guys and have you guys here. We love you guys. We love you watching the show. Keep watching the show. We have more of our Purple Friends coming up and all kinds of wonderful friends. And remember to keep your eyes, ears, and your heart open to find your Purple Road. We love you. Yay.